So the aspect of it, Noah, is to just fucking answer the question no matter what. All right, everybody. Welcome on back to Mad Minutes, episode three. This week, I bring on another debut to the Deg Show. Please give a gracious hello to my older brother, Old Barry. Hello, hello, hello. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me, Benny. All right, Old Barry, let's get right into it. First question I got, starting off on a somber note. Legendary actor and comedian Richard Lewis passes away earlier this week at age 76. What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Greatest hair in com- comedy television. That man knew how to have a head of hair from his pictures with Larry David in the 80s to the production of Seinfeld in the 90s to current day whenever it was gray. But that man had his entire hairline right after he lost it to the receding male natural up until his deathbed. And honestly, you can't beat a man who says, I'm going to put you in my will in the episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm last week that just dropped to Larry David at his funeral saying, you made me laugh all my life, but today you made me cry, so I will never forgive you. Top tier friend, top tier man, top tier comedy. Agreed. He did have a hell of a head of hair, and it it stayed through to the end of time. And, And you know, you can be jealous of that because it's still better than yours. Agreed. And, uh, yeah, just lived a legendary life and a legendary character. Rest in peace. Second thing I got, in Dubai, they had Iron Man-esque jetpacks with the the arms flying over water. They had, like, a six or seven pilot race. Do you think we're ever going to see an Iron Man suit in our lifetime? In our lifetime, 100%. Like, I, I don't doubt that. They should be. They should have been flying around with Iron Man suits. I don't know, ten years ago, whenever the movie came out. No brainer on my end, Big Brain. We should have Iron Man suits now available to the public, and there should be honestly races of them. I agree, and you know the the jetpacks all we see is are the ones with they have the hands and they're flying over water. Like you'd think now. Iron Man came out in 2008. That's 16 years ago, which is crazy. But you think they have something by now. But, you know, like a self propulsion system, fully powered, operated by the hands. You'd think that society nowadays in 2024, we would have that now. Moving on. Next thing I got is Taylor Swift's dad was accused of punching a photographer outside of one of her Sydney, Australia shows. What do you think about that? I mean, Australians deserve to be punched. <laughs> what else you want me to say? Like, there are a bunch of criminals from England that inhabited an island. They're lucky they even have representation in any type of government, let alone the world stage, let alone having Taylor Swift, an American, perform there. If I were heard that, I'd punch an Australian upon arrival. All right. Old Barry, <laughs> big eight on Australia. Understood. All right. Uh, honestly, man, honestly, Big Brain, I'm jealous. I wish I was a criminal on an island living in a lawless land. But that's far past our time, and we can't go back, so may as well hate him. All right, last thing I got is, um, excuse me for this uh, pronunciation, Mexico's Popa Catepetel volcano erupts 13 times in past days. What do you think about that? I mean, 13 is typically an unlucky number, but one of my good friends from elementary, middle, and high school, Bobby Suter, always rocked 13, and he turned the 1-3 into a B. I give it a B. 13 times erupting in Mexico. I mean, it put them on the world stage, gave them good news. Uh, it seems like... Is it good news? I mean, volcanoes erupting typically lead to life developing um, around the volcano. So, you know, it had the earth had to pop a pimple, and it just happened to be the volcano in Mexico of the atrocious uh, the, the atrocious pronunciation that you gave it. Well, that's neither here nor there. That's all I got that happened this week. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Tune in Tuesday morning. 
for the weekend recap. Take it easy, everybody.